YouTube, it's your boy, Gaming Dad. I'm back with another review. I got another grip I wanted to try out, another, another power bank grip. Uh, this is uh, the iPay cooling charging system. Uh, I think it retails for $34.99 on Amazon. Um, I didn't do an unboxing of it because it was just this little box here and the actual unit, and so it wasn't nothing else in there. So, unboxing done. Uh, I've been using it for about uh, a little over about a week and a half. Um, it's a it's a pretty good grip, like I said before. Kind of like the other one, it does it does what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to charge you, charge your grip while you're playing, and it does that. And it's comfortable. And it's not as heavy as a as another product I reviewed. Um, but I mean, you get some positives from negatives, so it's going to the positives. I like said before, it's definitely very comfortable. Um, the plastic is not, it, it doesn't feel super cheap, but it doesn't feel super premium either. Um, it fits good in the hands. I get that nice little grip, that like, nice little extension what I like down here so my hand can get in there. And uh, I don't feel like I got cramp hand trying to, you know, maneuver certain things. Um, I like it also. Um, another great thing about this, about this uh, unit is that it fit not only the Nintendo Switch, light but also the nintendo switch and i'll i'll show you a little bit later how that looks with both systems you know what matter of fact let's get into it i'll do it right now all right go ahead and grab it from the bottom ease this one bad boy on out and so that the unit expands that's sweet right and so uh, but and, it, and it's made pretty well you know it's, it's pretty solid you know it's not it's not flimsy it got a little it got a little gear but this is a tiny bit nothing nothing you're going to notice when you got your system locked in here so I'm gonna borrow my daughter's switch. She didn't like that too much, but you know, I should do what daddy tell her to do. All right, so, so I put it in here, squeeze this one down, and voila. It also fits the Nintendo Switch OG. Um, it's, it's in there sturdy. Uh, it does make this system quite heavy. This is. I only have it on my wife's table. She ain't having that. But uh, oh, that was my mistake. But uh, this is uh, it. It fits comfortably. It gives your hands. I mean, your hands rest really comfortable if you got to move both joysticks. Now you might have to do a little traveling a little bit to get to these to get to these um, buttons, but it ain't much. Uh, not at all. I like how it's, it's set up where. If I'm not using these buttons here, it's kind of comfortable here. But if I was just playing, I want to keep my hands here. You know what? It's, it's, it's not as comfortable because my fingers got to kind of stretch a little bit. And that's something to think about on the. Um, I'm gonna look at that again on the Switch Lite, but here on the on the OG Switch, you got to reach a little bit. So, you know, it, it fits both systems. That that's a plus to me because if you got them both, you know what? You're gonna grab one charger and to do the job um another great thing about this this unit let me pull this up out of here put my daughter switch over there is that it has cooling fans now how effective these fans are uh, i don't know you know i played a little bit on my on my daughter switch and um the fan blows you know it blows nice little breeze but it's light, it's faint. I mean, it's not like, it's not something that's gonna, you know, blow it out the water, but hey, you got fans. And they're, they're blowing up the back of your system. Now, how does that work? I don't know how the airflow goes through the switch. Do it come out through the bottom? Do it go out through the top? I, I don't know. However, hey, you got two fans. It's gonna cool the system off in the back. I just don't know how effective that is. I don't have a, uh, call that a, a heat sensor, better gauge the heat. I don't have that, so. But, nevertheless, uh, you have fans. My dog's going crazy for some reason. Um, has USB-C um, charging ports. That's another blessing. Um, kind of keep consistent with the whole Nintendo Switch. They got USB-C. It should be the same all across the board. I don't know why other units or other people that do things for the Switch use the smaller um, micro um, USB-C um, port. But however, they are legit. They are with it. When you're charging it, I mean, 
Cut this off. Uh, when you uh, now we try when, when you when it's engaged, the uh, or when it's on, the eye play button will come on. Let's see if I can cut that back off on that. Uh, you really can't see it with this light how I got, it, but it's real faint. But you know, if you're in a dark situation, you know it's on. The eye play button logo will light up. Um, it has also it has a kickstand. Yeah, you, you, all you do is just like any other OG switch. Um, it's kind of light and flimsy like an OG switch too, though. Get into that later. Uh, let me put this back some. So if you, it gives you a, let me go ahead and put my switch light back in there. Can't do it that way, Dave. All right, you put it in there. Gives you a pretty good view. You know, it, it, almost about 45 degrees fully pulled out. You know what, that, that, that's decent. You know, if I'm sitting here right now playing, I got my controller, I was moving up right there, it's at eye level, I'm looking down. I can have a good time with it. Um, definitely something um, that benefits the system overall. It has a 6,000 milliamp battery, uh, which is good with charges. It gives you probably about a full charge and a half on the Nintendo Switch Lite. Probably about a, a full charge and one fourth on the OG switch. So, if you got an OG switch, you're getting a, you know you better at least double your playtime. If you got a, um, you can almost double your playtime. You got a switch light. So now we got through the positives. Let's get through the negatives. The kickstand, for one, it's so flimsy. I mean, it's no give, no play. I mean. If this thing goes down and it's mad, if you push down hard enough, this thing is gonna pop a break. Just like the just like the switch. I think to be honest, I think this kickstand is probably worse than your OG switch kickstand, hands down. Um, it would be nice if at the bottom, see look at the bottom here. At the bottom, it is plastic. And if they would have put like a little rubber tab or something down there, so you can get some grip when you get on a smooth surface like this here, it kind of makes it better, a little bit more sturdy. You know, right now, just, you know, see, I'm just sliding everywhere. You know? it, kid come in, bump it. You see how far that went? I just tapped it a little bit. It's going to cost stable. So I think, I wish they would have had a little rubber thing right there on, right there on the internet stand. Is that you can't charge this here uh, Why it's in tabletop mode. So if you have the kickstand out, and it's out there, you can't charge it. Look, I mean, it's it's right here. And so when you put this thing down, it's it's flat. You can't get underneath it unless you got a special made cord to charge it. Now that, I, don't, I think that's a poor design. They, they should have put it like on the side somewhere or maybe up up here in the back. But by, the, put, by putting it way, but way down here, once you plug it in and close it, you know, it, it's gonna be really rested on that cord. So you run it, you run the risk of damaging your cord or or even breaking the unit itself by putting it in a, in a really stressful situation. So um, definitely they, that was a poor design right there. Poor choice to put it right there. They should have put that port somewhere else. Like the other power bank, um, and I think if you if you just gotta have a power bank, you're gonna understand that it's gonna take your switch light and not make it light anymore. It'd be a switch fat. It's gonna be heavy. And this is still a heavy unit. Just don't. This don't feel like that premium feel when you first take the switch light out of your hand, out of the box, you're like, man, this is light. This right here, boy, it makes it heavy. And on the switch, OG switch, boy, it feel like, you know, you doing weight curls. Another thing I want you to pay attention to, as I was going this here, the fan is, is not quiet. It's not quiet fan, it's, you know it's on. Without a shot of a doubt, I'm leaving it on right now. I'm gonna see if it's, it's a charge of my unit. Oh, my unit's already charged, so it's not really charged my unit. Um, however, let's see if I can put it on. Put it off. All right, so um, the process of getting it to make sure it's charging your unit, that you click it once, the fan comes on. If you click it twice, it'll charge the unit. So it won't do it simultaneously but it won't charge the unit unless the fan is on. So there's no way to say, hey, I just, I just wanted to charge the unit, I wanna leave the fan on. You know, if you want to charge it, the fan gotta be on. I think that was another, they could have they could have fixed that somehow, some way, that, that, was, that was a poor choice to let that ride. It should definitely have it alternate. So this way I'm not 
because believe it or not, you're using, you gotta use power to run this fan. So now you're using the power that you have in, in your battery to run the fan, which you probably don't need, and, and charge the unit. So another, another fatal flaw. I say fatal, but another flaw. Um, um, sometimes, another thing I, I figure out, sometimes when you press this button on this unit. So at the end of the day, my overall review of this system, I give it a 3.75 out of five. 3.75, almost a four. Um, I think what did it for me is just how bulky it is. If you're buying this for the light, I mean, if you just got to have the extra battery, I think I will feel better with getting me a smaller grip and just getting me a power bank that's going to probably triple my, you know, triple the, the amount of his here. I mean, as a matter of fact, I think I seen one for Anchor, a little small one, and it was like, I think maybe 20,000 20, milliamps. And um, you know, 20,000 wooden else would you know would take the switch in you know, five, six, seven times. You know, that you can charge that bad boy. So um, I think that's a better that's the better move. I'd rather pay to get the power bank where I can charge other things and still have enough battery to do what I need to than this right here. Um, the fan is a cool gimmick. I just don't know how effective it is. It sounds nice. Have it pull your fan, up, pull your switch off. I just don't know, maybe if I play Mortal Kombat for a little while, let it heat up and then see how it, and be able to check the temperature, but for the price and things you're gonna need, it just don't work for me. It might work for you, not for me. Um, but yeah, man, I mean, but overall, it does what it needs to do. Uh, even though the kickstand is flimsy, it does give you that, that ability for tabletop play. Um, it will charge the switch. Um, the grips are pretty comfortable, but they're not the best. Um, um, see, it's like with the switch light, you know, I guess because the system is a little bit shorter, this right here feels good. To have my hands here, I don't, I don't miss a beat, you know that? But when I had it on the switch, it was like just a little, I had to stretch a little more to get it. And so, definitely, if, if I was getting it just for... Um, the switch, the OG switch, I would probably give it a 3.5, but if I was getting it for the switch light, it'd get a 3.7. Just on that ability, because you know, at the, the end of the day, you want a grip that's gonna give you that ability to, um, to, to go out there and reach it and do it, you know, and be comfortable when you're playing it. You don't want to have any mistakes, so. This is your boy Gaming Dad with the iPlay charge and cooling service system, hand grip. I think it's $34.99. I try my best to leave the description and my details on this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This is your boy Gaming Dad, and I'm out. Peace.